is insane. This electric scooter is absolutely ridiculous. They say it can go 50 miles an hour. Little tuck 50! Oh my god, 51! And get up to 50 miles of range on a single charge. It runs on dual motors, 60 volt battery, dual 45 amp controllers. And if you know anything about electric vehicles, you know those specs are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> especially packaged into a scooter of this size. Current MSRP is right around $3,000, but it is actually quite a bit on sale in the link below this video in the description box. But is the eMove Roadrunner Pro any good or not? Let's find out. It weighs 114 pounds. And here's what it looks like when you get out of the box. Here's the seat. It's got like a heat dissipating material. Feels soft. We'll check out the dual motors in a moment, but first, let's check out this massive battery. Here's the charge port. Well, the whole thing slides up. Oh, it's a big battery. Let's take a look at it. Listen as 60 volts, 30 amp hours, LG battery. Popping that battery off reduces the weight a bit, probably by about 20 pounds or so. And right away, we can see this is a relatively tiny scooter. I am six foot five with an inseam of 34. Suspension actually feels nice. Comes with foot pegs. They are retractable and metal. Appears to be a stem riser. And let's get this thing on the charger. Charger is 3.5 amps. Here's your connector port. And 30 amp hours divided by 3.5 amp charge rate would be about eight and a half hours to charge from completely empty to completely full. So it's got dual motors. And both the front and the back are 60 volt, 2000 watt nominal, making for 4000 watts of nominal power output on this thing. It's running 14 inch wheels and actually a pretty unique wheel. It's on tubeless tires. And if you do happen to get a flat, you can actually disassemble this entire wheel with these bolts. The rim will separate in the center, making it easier to take the tire off and much easier to replace. Tread pattern indicates we should be riding this on the street. On the front, we get inverted suspension on the fork. Does not appear to have any adjustments on the stanchions. And here's a closer look Look at the dual coil rear shocks. They actually feel pretty plush. Good bit of rise there. But what's even better is the Domino Twist Throttle. I have yet to try a Domino, but I have heard nothing but good things. Of course, it is a full twist. Rubber grip, same on the other side. Oh, we might need to actually get that stuck on there a little bit better. Handlebars are actually pretty darn wide. Hydraulic brake levers are branded Voro Motors. They have a nice single finger grip. The left brake lever controls the rear hydraulic brake. These are listed as dual piston hydraulic brakes. 180 millimeter rotor on the rear wheel as well as the front. Uh, 50 miles an hour. We'll see how these hold up. Looks like this is how the foot pegs go on. Pop the battery back in there. And, oh no, it looks like the screen's damaged a little bit. Let's fire it up. 4 motors. Boom! So we get a color display, shows us our voltage readout. Definitely gotta get that battery charged up to 67 volts before we get out there. Sweet! Looks like we get our wattage output for each motor. Interesting, rear, front, super cool. Temperature, looks like there are five modes of assist. They just start us out on five right away. I like it. And let's try some of the buttons here. Press the M, oh, so it shows us our trip. Average speed, max speed, that says 67, sure did. I'm controlling that all over here with these controls and we do get a light, turn signals. And what's the horn sound like? That is a freaking loud horn. Here's what the light looks like up front. There are no turn signals on the front. But around back with the left turn signal on, it looks like it indicates this flashing moving along. Right turn signal indicates like that. Very interesting. And then you can do like hazard lights and it does that. You get a brake light when you pull the brake lever, it lights up. Also get a little reflector up here. Looks like the dual 45 amp controllers are mounted down here. And when you turn the lights on, the back light lights up. And with the handlebars on, here's what I look like on this electric scooter motorcycle thing. Dude, I'm so freaking pumped to try this thing. I don't think these pegs are really on there. Oh, I can tell this thing's gonna have some juice. For size reference, here's what a kind of typical moped style electric bike looks like. The moped style bike thing is definitely a little bit bigger. Higher seat height, there you have it. So it looks like the rear motor is on, front motor is off. We'll have to figure out how to work this thing. Actually, let's go ahead and test the back motor. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap, dude, I just blipped the throttle. Oh my goodness. Dude, this thing is ridiculous. Watch this, ready, go. <laughs> Check out the display when I rotate this throttle. Ready, go. <laughs> 70. Oh my 
goodness. How? 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 This thing is tiny. We still gotta try the front motor. Check it out, I figured it out. Hold the M button, boom. Dual motor, baby. This seems a little dangerous. Pulse is five, go. This is insane. <laughs> This can't be safe. <laughs> I'm genuinely afraid to full throttle it. Let's see if we can do it. Please don't crash. <laughs> it's not even on a full battery. I gotta show you what's going on up here outside. All right, dudes, let's take the Roadrunner Pro out for a ride. Of course, we're gonna fire up the Strava here and track our official range. My goodness, am I excited for this one? Gotta turn on that battery, I think. Bora Motors. Boom, 66.6, .6. let's roll. I'm a little bit scared. So before we get out here and start running this thing really hard, let's try it on 20% grade on rear motor only. Uh, we have it on power level five. So it shows us our power right here, showing 2000 watts, 3000 watts, 2000 watts. And it starts to cut our power 1400 watts on rear motor only. So it reduces our power there a bit on single motor. Let's try dual motor. So to get it on dual motor, let's go ahead and stop and then hold the M button. Now we are on dual. Now we can see that the motor temperature went up a little bit on the rear wheel using that. So let's go ahead and try uh, five, pedal assist five and full throttle. Oh yeah, we're losing traction. I'm not going full throttle, but uh, yeah, it's pulling us up, scaring these girls a little bit. <laughs> wow, this thing got a little bit pep too. All right, let's run it, run it one more time here from a stop. Full throttle ready, go. Oh yeah, totally losing traction on the front. <laughs> I gotta get my uh, weight up here on the front to kind of hold down that front wheel. Woo! Oh my goodness, this thing's got some power. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try out the polarized lenses. Can you see that TFT display? Yes, love it. And to preserve the motors, not damage them, I'm gonna come to a stop, hold down this M button, switch it back over into just single motor. See what this thing will do on like a lower power. So uh, one, oh my goodness, this thing is full throttle right now. So your grandma could ride this thing if you wanna lend it to her. Looks like it'll take us up to about 10 miles an hour. So it reduces the amount of power, uh, you know, pretty substantial, showing up. 200 400 watts this doesn't feel even like 400 watts honestly let's try two these brakes actually don't feel bad at all at first glance rear motor only and it's bringing us up a little bit more power there 1200 watts and it cuts us at about 14 and let's go ahead and just put this thing on five on rear motor only full throttle so still pretty tame on five on rear motor only giving it says 2000 four 3000 so it kind of like Oh wow, so this thing kind of like gives you more power as you go faster. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna switch it back on over to dual motor now. Get to the good stuff. So what if we put it down on one full throttle? Okay, so like 200 watts is barely giving us any power at all. So I mean, you could give this to an inexperienced rider as long as they're on the lower powers. Two, still pretty tame, but it does start to pick up a little bit. Yeah, it's like it gives you more power as you go faster mode three now we're getting a little bit of wheel spin and just kind of rolling on the throttle showing about 2000 watts to each motor oh that thing looks like it's got a little bit more than 2000 watts on the dual motor you better be careful going around turns because that front wheel has got a lot of power going on there and it will tend to spin out on you if you're not careful so on pedal assist three or power assist three i should say already like the motor is already causing that front wheel to spin out and i am noticing you get a lot more of your weight over the rear wheel on this so if you really want to put that power down and and, uh, you know, maintain control of that front wheel. You gotta get up on the front to get more of your weight down. Suspension on this bike is feeling nice and plush. It will bottom out. I weigh 200 pounds. I kind of feel it bottoming out. So, I mean, it's not gonna be like an off-roading kind of thing, but it's gonna be like, you know, plush for like riding over some street riding. You got a nice amount of travel that's soft for street riding. I wonder if you can actually tighten that up. I didn't really look at the settings. Not sure if that is adjustable or not. Oh, let's roll. <laughs> Display is bright enough to see. I wish it was just a little bit brighter, but you know, it's not dim. I thought maybe I might be able to use the headlight setting to make it a little more bright. It's not changing it. So now we are on four. I'm gonna slide up here a little bit. And when this light turns green, see what it'll do on four. So it gripped up actually pretty good on four. And now 
I'm gonna go back here, get a little more comfortable. And yeah, it's like, as you go faster, it kind of gives you more power. We're hitting 30, 32, 34, and that's on four. This thing seems pretty outrageous so far. It feels very nimble because of those uh, short, lighter wheels compared to like an electric bicycle or an electric motorcycle. And going around these corners, I feel uh, very, like I really need to utilize that domino thr uh, throttle to make sure I'm not putting down power too hard with that front motor. As I was saying, this is gonna obviously be, be mostly an on-road kind of thing. But let's just see what it feels like off-road. Oh yeah, you can feel the suspension on the back kind of bottom out pretty uh, quickly, easily. Oh gosh, polices are coming. Looks like they're distracted. Let's get out here on pedal assist five. Holy crap, dude. Get some power down, bro. Probably won't be able to do a high speed run quite yet, but we'll get into traffic here. My goodness, dude, I can feel that front wheel about to lose traction. I gotta get up here on the front. So we do have the GPS. My phone is mounted there. I am not going full throttle quite yet. Not sure I'm prepared for that. 36, what the heck? Full throttle going into a headwind here. 40, 42, 43, I'm letting off for now. We're about to pass the AMG Mercedes up here, bro. So flip on my blinker. I don't know if people actually look for those sort of things on these little scooters. Let's roll. Brakes. Yeah, they're there, they work. So cruising at 20 appears that the speedometer on board will be reliable. I actually might read about a mile an hour low on board. Usually it's opposite. And I gotta say, I'm loving the domino throttle. A lot of like e-bikes and stuff I review, the throttles kind of work like on off switches. This one actually appears to have like a decent amount of like control and play. Like you can kind of modulate that power a little bit. And obviously it's on five, so I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so despite the size of this thing, it actually packs a serious punch for a size and the weight of it is, you know, 116 pounds. Let's go ahead and try the zero to 20. Seems like an outrageous place to try this. <laughs> see if we can get this put down a little power. I'm gonna roll on the throttle. I'm not gonna just goose it, so ready, go. 20. Well, that was like 19. Actually, let's try that again right here. So maybe I can get a little more power down. Ready, go. Oh, come on now, full throttle, ready, go and 20. <laughs> so it's pretty freaking quick, dude. Let's go over here, be a little bit more, more responsible. So hopefully you can see those digits there and I'm just gonna pretty much try and get most of my weight down over the front wheel and uh, ready, go. So full throttle now. So it's putting down all the power and it gives you like more power as you go faster. So holy smokes, wow. So it's like almost like a turbocharger effect where it, it, it doesn't seem like it gives you all the power right off the gate. Whoa, but it does give you a lot of power. <laughs> People are just looking like, what's going on, bro? Probably should have tightened down that grip before we do a high speed run. All right, dude, it's time for a high speed run. Let's ease on it here just a little bit. And ready, full throttle now. So let's see what we can do. 25, 30, 30, 6, 37. Watch out cars, watch out cars. 40, Six. Woo! Suspension bottom down. 47, 49. Little tuck, 50. Oh my god, 51. We better see if the brakes work. I haven't even tried them yet. So yeah, man, I'd say 51 miles an hour on this scooter will probably about do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. These things are so outrageous. Feeling out going 25. Man, that top speed's freaking crazy for something of this size being so low to the ground. Let's see like what just happened if we got like fast next to this motorcycle. Get a little bit of juice, nothing too crazy. Full throttle. It's not that fast compared to that. <laughs> I think it's really just something about, you know, the, the size of the wheels and the power to weight ratio. I mean, this thing only weighs 116 pounds and as a dual motor, like <laughs> it just whips, dude. That instant torque is so fun. It never gets old. And I'm about lost it. Just like this chick looks like she's about to lose it. So since this does have relatively skinny tires, we will definitely not be taking it out there on the sand. But the benefit of the skinnier tires is uh, we'll definitely have more efficiency riding on the pavement. Those fat tires, you know, they just, they don't roll nearly as nice as these skinny tires. More rolling resistance on fatter tires and more weight. So keeping rotational weight down is really important for, you know, acceleration, speed, efficiency, all that stuff. And I've got to say, despite the relatively smaller size of this thing, I do feel comfortable on it. Like I'm just kind of like lower to the ground and I do like the seat. The seat's comfortable. It's like wide. So like it's wide and soft. Uh oh, he's starting up his car out of here. It might be a little bit more power than uh, legally allowed in some areas. I don't know all the rules. This is something you definitely got to check the local laws in your area before you just get out on. Uh, Lamborghini looking fresh. I wonder what they would say if I, if 
I called it a taxi. I'm really just kind of curious to see whoa, how this thing is going to feel going on the boardwalk. Uh, we're pretty much just floating over this, honestly. I barely even feel it. Better not go out there. Oh, when you're going slower though. Uh, it's the smaller wheels, they don't really run stuff over as well as taller wheels. Even though the suspension is plush, let's loose it. <laughs> Feels so ridiculous on this thing. Might be time for an early brake test. Oh gosh, maybe another brake test. All right, well, let's go run it up the California incline, see how it'll, see how much speed we can get and how much is gonna take a toll on the battery, of course. So as you probably already know, the California incline is that hill, 12% grade, 85 foot climb. Whoa, whoa, get up on front. <laughs> so rolling in here, we are 62.2 volts. So definitely over half battery and uh, on dual motor on full power. Let's go ahead and see how well I can actually go around this uh, loop de loop. The handlebars on this thing are surprisingly wide. A little hard to control the power on max, but oh, there we go. Just gotta get up on the front of the seat. We'll try the brakes out here on the bottom of the California incline right before this sign. So get up on the front of the seat here, full power. So getting on the front of the seat makes a huge difference in how much power you can actually put down. And then after you get moving, you can move back just a little bit on the seat here. So we're at 32, 33, 34 and gaining, showing 2,400 watts on each motor, 2,400 watts. I just let off because we're freaking cooking going up there. I saw 37 on my, GPS. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's actually new here. We were just down there on the sand on the trail. Let's head down the California incline. I'm not entirely sure how confident, how fast I want to go down this hill. Full throttle, baby. 40, 42, 44. I'm going to let off the throttle and start applying brakes right now, just a little bit. And we'll get on the brakes just a bit more here at the end. <laughs> Didn't want to take too much of a risk there. Whoa, whoa. This thing is just outrageous. I don't want to scare this old man give him a heart attack oh look at that move wow that is impressive sir what am i talking about he's about to give me a heart attack one thing that's important to remember on this bike scooter thing is uh it is motorcycle layout so front brake is on the right whereas a bicycle would typically back brake would be on the right you don't want to grab the wrong one and skrr <laughs> Man, just spinning that front wheel never gets old. Oh, maybe it would after a while, after you replace a few of them, see how much it costs. But speaking of replacing tires, it's actually super convenient um, to replace one if you need to because that hub motor splits in half. So have to get yourself in a bit of an emergency situation going around 20 miles an hour and you need to slam on the brakes. Yeah, they got you, dude. I take it easy though. You don't want to send yourself. Uh... Oh, oh! I popped a little wheelie there. You don't want to send yourself over the handlebars on this thing and have that front wheel slide out. So when I'm not out here absolutely hooning, I actually find it uh, pretty comfortable and realistic to cruise on level three and kind of like goose it. It'll give you good power, but it's not like you know spinning out the front wheel and just absolutely outrageous. So right now we're chilling at about 60.9 volts. Uh, let me share my final thoughts and then we'll see what kind of range we get out of this thing. So the MSRP on this thing is right around $3,000, but it is currently on sale right now in the link below this video in the description box. So if you do want the best price, buy through that link and it would also help support my reviews here on Juice Joy Rides. So what is my opinion on this thing? I mean, it freaking whips, dude. It's like, I think I saw around like 5,000, over 5,000 watts of peak power output. It is a little bit hard to get that power down to the front here you know up on the front here whoa my goodness i thought i was about to hit the peg on that curve i picked my leg up the suspension super super plush but it will bottom out uh if you start hitting like any real bumps throttle control is excellent and i really like the variety of power modes on this i mean for the price if this is the kind of thing you're looking for just something that has the ability to be absolutely ridiculously fast and absolutely ridiculously zippy considering the price of it you know a 60 volt 30 amp hour battery pack that's able to put this much power down this much of a thrill I really don't think it's too bad of a deal so if you want to grab one that's up to you if you do buy through the link below of course i'd appreciate your support let's go check the final range dude this thing just picks up speed so quick you can get yourself into trouble real quick i like how when you gun it it compresses the rear suspension like a muscle car feels like i'm about to pop a wheelie whoa 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 it's sand 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 whoa. let's see what it's got left in it as the battery's getting down a little bit so we're on five full throttle now watch out cars we're coming in hot let's Get around this BMW M. Get around this G Wagon 47. Holy crap. I was about to do some lane splitting here. Let's just 
get on. Oh yeah, get that power down, leaning up here. Still spinning a bit, 28. He's getting the draft behind his Cadillac. Oh dude, we're gonna overtake him. Holy crap, 45, watch out, Defender. We're coming in hot, dude. Oh gosh, we gotta hit the brakes. This thing feels like a motorcycle. I mean, it is motors on a cycle. This thing's so tiny, weaving between cars. Still got the juice. Voltage tag was showing 52 volts there. No. <laughs> uh, I do not trust going fast around a turn on these small, skinny tires. What's going on around this truck? I can't even see. Holy crap, that, that groove in the ground. There's a big hole in the ground. Woo! Let's see what this thing can do. It's got left in it here. Let's roll full throttle. This car to my right starting to catch up to me. It's a Prius. What? 40, 45, 46. All right, dudes. Hour 27 minutes, uh, 18.21 miles, and it's showing 57.5 volts. Um, when I start giving it a little bit of throttle here, it will dip down and start going from green down to yellow. Still feels pretty peppy though. So 57 volts, I mean, the battery is getting down there. What kind of range do I think that I could get out of this? Probably, you know, 30, 35 miles whipping around the way I was today. Now granted, I was on dual motors the whole time and uh, doing burnouts and whipping around. Pretty, pretty, uh, you know, testing the limits of this thing. So you could certainly do more range if you chill out a bit. So three grand might be a little bit expensive, but the discount that is going on right now, I do feel like this thing is priced pretty darn good. Uh, you do get a pretty good bang for the buck. Dual motor, 60 volt. The level of power output of this thing is pretty outrageous. So if you want to grab one, buy it through the link below in the video in the description box. It would help support my reviews. And of course, I greatly appreciate your support. However, if this is not the kind of thing you're looking for, watch this video next and I'll catch you over there.